Doctor, I want to ask you about uh, our, our bodies being alkaline. How do I know if I'm too acidic? Is there are there symptoms? And then, if I do find that out, what's the best way to get my body back in balance and get it more alkaline? First of all, you get pH strips now nearly everywhere, in mm -hmm. every pharmacy for a couple of bucks. So it's a saliva test or a urine test, and mm -hmm. uh, you can find out within seconds if you are acidic, if you're in a blue range, which you are alkaline, which you're pretty safe, mm -hmm. or you're getting more and more into a yellow range, which would be acidic. And then you should really start instantly stop eating red meat. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not promoting to be a vegetarian because I think every extreme is wrong. And all of my friends that are vegetarians, they all look like they're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really uh, uh, a proponent <coughs> of any form of extreme. I think we can eat everything as long as we do 70% right, living food, lots mm -hmm. of enzymes, we can do 30% wrong. But I would stop immediately everything that's acidic, like coffee, like alcohol, and um, uh, start instantly juicing in the morning, one third each, apple, celery, celery, carrot juice every morning. A lot of people get lots of diarrhea from it, which means they have a lot of toxins in their system mm. that have to come out. But really, basically, in my experience, you can stop the growth of cancer really, really fast. And we have to come back to my element. I'm the only one that's taking care of the root cause of cancer, mental and emotional stress. We now talked about the symptoms of the physical body. But if you don't eliminate the bad relationship, the bad marriage that keeps you down so much that you don't want to live anymore, if you don't change the horrible job you cannot bear any longer, if you don't develop the self-esteem and self-love you need, you will always live in stress. And as long as you live in stress, you're going to be acidic. There's absolutely no way around that. You cannot heal while you are in a state of stress because you're in a state of fight or flight. So the body, the metabolism gets shut off. The body cannot heal as long as you are stressed. That's why you can only heal while you are asleep. And my CDs give you an equivalent in 20 minutes of eight hours of deep restful sleep. And that's what we did with our patients. We make sure they have this taking the hand off the table edge, stopping the rubbing, focusing to the inside. But you have to uncover what changed, what is the root cause that made me sick at the first place, what is the root cause that led to the lack of energy that allowed the body to malfunction or create this traumatic health challenge. And this is basically where you really have to look at, where you have, you have to understand, if you do not get rid of the root cause, it doesn't matter what you do physically, you will still die. So you have to identify and eliminate the root cause of your lack of energy that led to the cancerous growth or any other form of disease. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way for you to r recover or stay healthy at the first place.